Hmm. So I'm back at the same charger. Now everything is parked full with idiots not knowing what this is. All ice cars. Whole Ionity is iced, so you can see. That's nice. But this one is free. And look at that. 22 kilowatt at 98%. I just trust 100% on the other side. And now I came here a bit faster. <laughs> Wanted to have a bit of fun. And now we're doing 130 kilometers an hour, which is on a speedometer 133. I measured it before. We do it on a highway. Again, 53%, 54, we'll see. And then turn around. But because I need the AC now, it's hot, it's 27 degrees. But let's get in the car and go. Fun. I'm on my way. I'm driving 133, which is 130 GPS speed. Tested it before. Only drove 23 kilometers. We're already 93% or something. Live stream is going as always, but it's so hot. It's 26 degrees and the sun is shining directly on the phone. The phone is too hot and so the CPU, I think, is throttling and therefore the frame rate of the live stream is horrible. Uh, yeah, after AC on at 21 and a half degrees, you can see it here. And middle fan speed, it's just too hot. I, I need the cooling. It's a bit hard with the traffic to stay at 133, but I can do it. So it just jumped from 76 to 74%. So I don't know exactly. We drove 78 kilometers, average consumption 209 watt hours per kilometer, average speed 122. Range it has not adapted to the speed that we and the consumption we're doing. Not yet. But let's drive it down to 54 and then we turn around. I just passed, passed the 67 mark, it jumped from 68 to 66%. Now we're already at 64, but it was under, under 100 kilometers that I drove. So I won't be able to do 300 kilometers, even, even calculating it. Still at the same speed, e uh, um, um, I'm in eco mode and I have the well, this eco here is, there's nobody sitting here and therefore it doesn't cool this side. It only cools with the air conditioning my side, but I have it on 22 and a half, so that's cool. Average consumption, you can see 211. We drove 51 minutes, 106 kilometers, which is the average speed of 123. So another, another 10% and then I turn around, put in the navigation. The Ionity charger and I just seen on the other side 10 kilometers back there was an accident so I don't know if I s stop and stand in the traffic jam or if I go off the highway yes it would be faster but for the consumption test I mean my average speed if I'm standing goes down like crazy ah. hmm I still don't know I have to think Maybe it's, it is already done till then, but I don't think so. I think it was two or three cars that had an accident and it just happened. So there were only 20, 30 cars behind it. And the traffic is high, so there will be high traffic jam. Yeah, I will ask the live stream later if what, they, they, what, what Google Maps is saying about the traffic jam. Okay, I'm at 49%. Again, it jumped from 51 down to 49. That's not nice. 
let's look at the stats. Drove 144, a consumption is 211. I hope it will go down like it did in the 90 kilometers an hour test. Average speed is good, even I just turned around in Erding. Um, and I have to go 135 home. It, the consumption should be a bit better, we'll see. If I can't make it, I have to slow down, that's just how it is. Uh, one problem is, I've seen, like I said before, the accident and uh, Livestream is telling me that the traffic jam is getting worse. So, I don't know what to do yet. If I drive around it or stop and then we stop the timer. I don't know if the consumption goes down if I stand. I don't know. I mean, this would be stupid if the consumption number goes down, then, then the whole test is for nothing. Uh, I don't know what to do. Look, I'm at 23%. This is my data. Consumption goes down as it was, has done in the 90 kilometer run. Why is this? Is this car just passed me, now it's slowing down. Um, I only have 7 kilometers of margin, so 70 kilometers of range, and I need to go 63 kilometers. So I very possible have to slow down at some point. I have to slow down now because this car passed me and now it's going slow. Ooh, warning! Oh, take a break. Eh, driver alert because it sees me not driving perfectly. You can turn it off, assist, and, oh no, driver alert, off, and then it's gone. Ooh, please charge vehicle, range 68 kilometers. I'm guessing we are 20%. Yes, we are. It jumped from 23 to 20%. Let's look at the data again, and then we can calculate. 217 kilometers and 20% left. This, I could uh, drive the speed very well, the, the, the accident was cleared up, it was all fine. I think I can do it at 133 till uh, the battery says you can't do it anymore. <laughs> well, let's go. I'm at 10%. Warning, recharge your vehicle, you can search for a charging station. I can see the percent is 10% now in the instrument cluster. Cancel, look at the driving data. Consumption went up a tiny bit, it was 205 before. It went up because uh, I was, I'm going uphill a bit. But you see already 250 kilometers, 28 kilometers to go, 31 kilometers of range, oops. See how it is, uh, if I'm on the top of the hill, then I can slow down, down the hill. That would be better, eh? But right now, I'm still okay. Two kilometers of margin is fine. I'm at 2%. Here it says 4 in the infotainment system. Instrument cluster says 2%, 7 kilometers of range, 9.3 to go. But it's soon going downhill. So I think that this range will now stay, hopefully, and I can make it. It's under 9 now. I will look at it. <laughs> and how much did we drive? 270 kilometers. So it will be at the end 200, almost a bit over 270. But the average speed will now go down. I'm going 110. I had to slow down. Average, so this is still the consumption and range and everything that you can expect at 123. So average speed. Um, but it, uh, like I said, the speed will go down. This was at 133 most of the time, but with turning around and then slowing down for trucks and passing and whatever. Yeah, we're almost there. Look at that, seven kilometers of range and 7.6. It's cool. We can do it. I have power limit, as you can see. 2% is low. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, uh, my phone, 
died with me on data. I don't know, and I can't fiddle with it around right now. I arrived with 2% six kilometers of range left. There was no turtle mode or anything, no special warning. It just went on. My stats, but like I said, I had to slow down a bit. Now it's at 122, but we drove 278 kilometers. So I wouldn't add those six. This is not true. So let's say 280. 202 is also not true uh, for average consumption. I would say 205, 206 was because of the slowing down. This is what happened. But this is more than I was expecting at that speed. It was a good. I have to go down. It was a good, good drive. I liked it. So, yeah, my voice is dead from the whole the live streaming, talking, talking, talking. So that was a fun drive. That was really fun. Driving at 130, still almost 280 kilometers of range, and it wasn't too stressed out. It's weird that it doesn't have turtle mode, but I, I was expecting less. I was expecting 260 or so. Yes, I was driving slower at the end. But still, the 270 was no problem at that speed and the battery wasn't empty. Still 2%. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. So if you do Ionity jumps, which the, the, the most that I drive are around 150 kilometers apart, I think 70% is okay to, to charge to 70 and then go to the next charger. That should work. And we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> I will try that at the long stretch when there's 150 kilometers uh, between them drive that I have the consumption at around 210. It should work. Okay, that's it. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.